The next person we wish to recognize for his outstanding contribution to humanitarian services is Mr. Noel Horn, the chairman of the Singapore Kidna Kindness Movement. <laughs> Professionally, Mr. Horn is the chairman of the NEC Solutions Asia Pacific and is affectionately known in Singapore as Mr. Courtesy and Mr. Kindness, although he is equally recognized for his contributions to the info technology industry. His pursuits took a different turn in 1993 when he became chairman of the Singapore Courtesy Council and four years later he chaired the Singapore Kindness Movement where the mission is to promote and inspire graciousness amongst Singaporeans. In recognition of his public services, he was conferred two national awards which are the Public Service Star in 1991 as well as 2003. Today amongst his many accolades, Mr. Noel Hoon also very deservingly adds the Priyadarshini Award in the field of public service as I request him to kindly receive this at the hands of he Mr. Kamala. He can give a response. Minister is coming. He can, um, no, let Kamala be there. May I request Mr. With both of you. He can give his response. Kamala will be in Okay, minute. Mr. Hoon, you will be uh, the, uh, the Honorable Minister has stepped out for a minute. He will be presenting the award to you. May I request you in the meantime to share your thoughts on this occasion with this august audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Noel Hoon. Thank you very much. My good friend, Mr. Nanik Rupani, Chairman of the Priya Dashni Academy, ladies and gentlemen, fellow awardees, and my good friends. First of all, I would like to thank you all very much in the Academy for inviting me and presenting me with the Academic Global Award. It is indeed encouraging to be recognized for the work we do at the Singapore Kindness Movement, and a privilege for me to join the eminent personalities assembled here today. First, I would like to express my appreciation to the people of India for being such warm, gracious hosts. Thank you also to Priyadashni Academy for honoring the Singapore Kindness Movement. This award is not mine alone, for I'm just a facilitator. It belongs to every volunteer, child, teacher, parent, SKM counsellor and secretariat member and to all those who have contributed to the movement's activities, programmes and campaigns over the last nine years. This number runs into the thousands. For your recognition and belief in the Singapore Kindness Movement's role and purpose, I thank you. The Singapore Kindness Movement was first conceived when then Prime Minister Go Chok Tong in his 1996 New Year's message stressed the need to balance economic progress with a more caring and gentler society. Mr Go, who is now Singapore's Senior Minister, urged Singaporeans to upgrade not only just their homes but also their social behaviour. By practising basic qualities like care, consideration and compassion, part of what he subsequently called the nation's hardware, we can create more pleasant homes for our children and for ourselves. To this end, the movement was officially launched in January 1997, and our objectives are to encourage Singaporeans to be kinder and more considerate, to raise public awareness for acts of kindness, and to influence and raise the standard of social behaviour in our society. We cannot achieve these aims on our own. We at the Singapore Kindness Movement therefore work closely with our youth organisations, schools, ministries, private corporations, the media and members of the public to implement our programmes and to further our campaigns. And we are grateful for the opportunity to do so. For sure, we are not alone. Similar movements have sprung up in many countries around the world. This is perhaps a reaction to the increasingly materialistic world in which we have become. We cannot overemphasize the need for greater kindness and social responsibility. With this in mind, the Singapore Kindness Movement, along with seven other countries including Australia, Canada, Japan, Scotland, Thailand, and the United, the United Kingdom and the United States, 
co-founded the World Kindness Movement on 13 November 1998. Today, there are 20 members in 17 countries in the World Kindness Movement. And SKM continues to play an active role in its evolution by serving as its secretariat. India, I must state, is represented in the World Kindness Movement Forum. I would like to take this opportunity also to thank my wife, Balin, who is here with me today, and my family for their support. Especially so, also for allowing me to be involved in the social services that I do. I would also like to thank the members of the SKM Council and the Secretariat, headed by Mrs. Jenny Young, for all their hard work and support. Acts of kindness should be intrinsic in our daily lives. Everyone has the capacity to make others happy, and all it takes is a simple smile, a nod of acknowledgement, or a wave of appreciation to make someone's day. On this note, I would like to thank the people of India, in particular, the Priyadrashni Academy, for making us feel so welcome. I understand I, the word to use for thank you is Danyuvada. Thank you very much. May I request photographer not to, you know, crowd near Karina ji, you know, other awards, you know, please do us that honor. Karina, thank you. We welcome you. I would like also to state that the Singapore Kindness Movement would also like to present a plaque to the Priyadashni Academy for their kindness and for their, re their recognition of our activities. Thank you. Thank you. As Mr. Horn presents his plaque to the Priyadashni Academy, I would also request our much honored guest of honor, Sri Kamal Nachi, to kindly present his award and the scroll which goes with it. Thank you and many congratulations, Mr. Hone. Thank you.